Hey guys, my name is Jonah Weinhoffen. I'm from the band I Kill the Prom Queen. And this is my lovely wife, Michelle. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be showing you guys how to make some delicious meals. For our little brekkie sandwich, brekkie, that's Australian for breakfast. Um, we're gonna put some veggie bacon on there. This this is one of our favorites. We chose this chow original cheese for our tofu scramble sandwiches. I just picked an extra firm organic tofu block. And since there are so many different types of firmness in tofu, you don't want silken tofu, probably firmer, extra firm. We chose this English muffin. You can use any muffin or even a bagel if you wanted to. Any type of pasta that you'd like. We chose spaghetti for the spaghetti bolognese sauce that we're gonna make. Italian herb? Yeah. He says herb, I say herb. Normally, we use kind of like a, a beefless ground. I think Gardein makes one. Um, a bunch of different brands make a similar product, but for this pasta, we're gonna use the Beyond Burger. And we're just gonna fry it up and mash it all up. <laughs> oh, here it is, right here. This is the one. What one? We've probably eaten about a hundred of these. The Tofu de Cuties is probably the first vegan ice cream I ever had, actually. Yeah. This is a staple for me. There's always at least two of these in my freezer at any one time. So if you wanted to make meatball pasta, Gardein makes a meatless meatball, which is so amazing. You can get it at almost any store now these days and a really good option to kind of throw into your pasta sauce. Here's another awesome option if you're on a bit of a budget and you need something quick and easy. A couple of vegan flavors here. We have soy milk, almond milk, more almond, coconut, flax, rice, cashews. So replacing dairy now is probably one of the easiest things to do because we have so many options. Okay, today for breakfast, we're gonna make a little breakfast muffin. Um, starting with the muffins, we're gonna make a tofu scramble using extra firm tofu, mix it with a bit of daya. Um, we've got pepper, salt, paprika, and this nutritional yeast. Sounds a little gross, but it's actually really good, um, mainly for flavor. We've got some veggie bacon, avocado, and a cheese slice to go on top. So my journey towards veganism started when I was 17 years old, um, and I was going to a lot of local hardcore and punk rock shows. And I guess just some of the bands that were playing were vegan or vegetarian and they were kind of preaching the message a little bit on stage. Um, but the thing that really caught my eye was the, the vegan cakes and hot dogs being sold at the venues. And you know, I was, I was a hungry kid going to a hardcore show. So of course I wanted food. And, and I remember asking myself, what's the deal with this vegan stuff? Like, okay, this is interesting. And, yeah, it just snowballed from there. I, I started asking questions and doing my research online and 17 years later, I've been vegan this whole time. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. That was a good breakfast sandwich. Mm. Okay, so for our pasta, we're gonna use this tomato sauce. We're gonna use um, the Beyond Burger. It's our veggie burger that we're gonna crumble up in there. We've got some onion, some daya, and some gluten-free pasta, and then some vegan parmesan cheese as well. So a couple years ago, um, I was on the Vans Warp Tour with my band, I Killed the Prom Queen, and a couple of us, um, well, all of, all of the band is vegan actually, and a couple of us volunteered to run um, the barbecue. Every night on Warp Tour, they do a, a barbecue, and we kind of got sick of there not being very many vegan options, so we actually put our hands up and said, you know what, let us do the barbecue one night, and the Warp Tour guys agreed, and we had mac and cheese, vegan mac and cheese. We had like two or three different kinds of burgers. We had cheese slices for the burgers. We had like all the different sauces and uh, 
just mayo and all that kind of stuff. And the feedback that we got from our barbecue was that it was the best barbecue that had on the whole tour. So that was a pretty awesome little achievement for us. There we go. <laughs> We find a common stereotype of vegans is that, you know, they're malnourished and weak and that's, we're kind of personally out there to try and prove that wrong. I mean, Michelle and I are super active in our daily lives. Um, I work out at the gym a lot. I, I, if I need a vegan protein supplement, I can take that. There's like tons of different ones. Um, I practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu martial arts as well. Um, we love hiking. Really active. Yeah, we do a lot of cool stuff and you know, not once have we ever had an issue with our diet. So we're at one of our favorite vegan restaurants right now. It's a Chinese Thai fusion restaurant in Irvine, California, called The Wheel of Life. And their motto is vegan power, which is pretty perfect for us. So this is spicy noodle dish. I get it with tofu and some plant-based shrimp. This dish is the Wheel of Life's world famous barbecue veggie chicken. And this is the Tom Kha Kai soup. So it's a like a creamy coconut milk based soup. So we're sitting here now extremely full having eaten all of the food that you guys saw just a minute ago. Um, and just want to say thanks for joining us. We hope you guys can create some awesome, exciting meals at home. Hopefully we've inspired you a little bit and uh, we'll see you guys soon.